Just before 2.30 last Thursday afternoon, Eagle Point sophomore Daniel Hinkle ran up this ramp during PE class, then collapsed at the feet of Diana Swopes. I think Ms. Swopes was there as soon as he actually hit, hit the ground and what was relayed to me was she held his hand because he was involved in a seizure and she talked to him and Daniel responded, squeezed the hand back. While Swopes sent for help, Daniel's seizure stopped but so did his heart. I think Daniel was not with us for five to eight minutes there. That sent this group of four into action. Using the automated external defibrillator, they worked to get Daniel breathing once again. It said, initiate shock now. And uh, at that point, I did actually have to push the button where it did have to shock him, and, uh, and it was able to stabilize his heart. And at that point, it told us to start doing compressions. What seemed like just a few minutes, um, which was more closer to like what uh, Mr. Barber said, between five to eight, um, he started breathing again. He was breathing, but wasn't done fighting for his life. He was seizing for five hours, and they couldn't get him to stop. So. It was probably a day and a half before he even woke up. Daniel was released from a Portland hospital today, but he wasn't able to be there as the story was retold. His mother was, though, and it was her first opportunity to thank the four heroes who helped save her son's life. As soon as I seen them, I wanted to just touch them and say thank you for all their efforts and actually saving Daniel's life because they did. The tears flowed as all four were honored by the school district for what it called a near-perfect response to the emergency.